Hey guys, Dakara here and welcome back to my channel and today we're on Lucifer season 5 episode 11 and the, the last one was something a little bit different, it was a bit quirky, we had a musical episode. So I'm hoping this one will go back into the plot a little bit. I've heard that season 5 is a bit of a roller coaster, so I'm excited to say the least. Please remember I have the extended and exclusive versions of these over on my Patreon page. To get access to that, please click in the link below and join the family there. It really helps support the content here on YouTube. But without further ado, let's roll that intro and get stuck into this episode. Tune. Are you positive you're ready? Yeah. And he won't back down no matter what nefarious mind games he tries to play because we need to present a, a united unit. front. I know. Don't worry, Lucy. We both agree. Dad needs to go home. Oh, for... he was just here. You took too long getting down the stairs, lads. Dad, the what are you doing? Just making myself useful. I love his voice so much. Lucifer tells me that your powers have been acting up. Well, I've had a glitchy moment or two adjusting to the mortal plan. Just take a rest, please. It must be the seventh day somewhere. Oh, and some of us have now got to go to work. So, since Amenadiel has proven himself once again to be completely useless, <laughs> you and I will have to discuss this later. Don't listen to Amenadiel. You've been an absolute gem this whole time. One minute you're breaking the rules, and the next you're in a police cruiser headed downtown. What were you thinking? Stealing my handcuffs? Using official police equipment to lock a defenseless child to a lunch table? Todd Drax has pushed a first grader into a trash can. Again! Mom, I was just doing what you do. Locking up the bad guys. Okay, locking up the bad guys is my job. Your job is learning. <gasps> talk, Excuse talk, me, Trixie. Could you pretend for one minute to be upset about this? I'm being brave, Mom. Like you are. I'm sorry I made you leave work and get stuck with me all day. Trixie. Uh... I am never stuck with you. Okay? But I can't, I can't leave work today and, and neither can your dad. So, where am I going? <laughs> Thank you so much for doing this. Oh, yeah. Look, she's potty trained and has never once tried to rip my earrings out. So, how much trouble could she be? <laughs> Perfect. This will be fun. She looks thrilled by it. <laughs> Is Trixie going to end up being a little shit? Um, I'm sorry that I slept with your wife. I didn't know she was married at the time. I swear to... Well, do you. No need to worry, Daniel. Everything is as it should be. Well, that's, uh, that's some grip. Yeah, maybe we should. Ah, you're hurting me. Let go. The <gasps> Did you mean to do that? Of course I meant to put him back together. Do not mysterious ways me right now. You just exploded a man. It looks perfectly fine to me. No he harm, no fault. Dad, and then put it back together. Dad, you need to leave. Staying here on Earth is endangering the people I care about and others. <laughs> so I've got a body down Poor and I Dan. Run away. Lovely, lovely. Let me just get rid of my. What? Where did he go? Did time freeze again while I wasn't looking? Actually, I believe something far more miraculous may have happened. <laughs> I think for the first time ever, my father might have listened to me. You sure this is the same guy? Well, he's fallen upon tough times recently. He had a heart attack a few years ago that ended his career. Bloody believe this! That's my son. Of course you're still here, selfishly putting all of humanity in danger. Well, that's where you're wrong, Lucifer. My divine presence won't be a danger to anyone because... I made myself human. Huh? Why would he do that? And how can that be undone? Of human. You said you were worried about my powers glitching. So I put them aside temporarily. Your old man is just a regular dude. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And why would you think it's a good idea to become a regular dude? I realized you were right. <laughs> Sorry, could you repeat that? I would love to capture the moment for posterity. Well, you've clearly learned and grown a great deal in your time on Earth. Just like to be a party to that knowledge. 
living in the human form, solving cases. I'm here for the whole kitten caboodle. It seems like he's trying. I made myself human. Isn't that exciting? <laughs> <laughs> what is he talking about? I am breathing healing energy. <sighs> Please. I see you're handling this celestial stuff like a champ. Oh, I feel for done so much. Yeah, hell's gonna suck, bro. <laughs> anyway, at least you have a soul too, Dan. Unlike me. Jesus. Reminder, Dan. He's just having a shitty day after shitty day. Bless his cottons. The last time any of us here saw him, he was caught trying to steal drugs. So the internet was right. Mr. Walcott is lucky that the hospital administration didn't press charges. I guess they figured that video going viral was punishment enough. Mm. Are you sure we should send him in there alone? Well, Lucifer is invincible now, so what could go wrong? Yep, she doesn't look worried at all. <laughs> what are you doing here? If I truly want to understand you, I have to experience the full breadth of earthly existence. Risk, danger. You're about to be experiencing death if you blow a cover. Maybe military school isn't the answer. For Trixie. You know, to get her back on the street now before she, uh, ends up, you know? Dan, you think our 11-year-old daughter is going to hell? I don't know. Maybe. Aren't you afraid of it? I mean, it's, it's all real, Chloe. God, the devil, it's real. You know, I just, I, I want to nudge Trixie in the right direction before it's too late. Okay, yeah, yes, uh, hell does exist. I just don't think one school suspension is the road to ruin here. You'd be surprised how easy it is to get on the wrong track. You are a great dad. Trixie's a great kid. She's just having a tween moment. I I'm sure she's talking about it to Linda right now. That is not what's happening at Linda's, is it? BT Doves, you can't trick me into talking about my feelings. See, a therapist is kind of like a detective. I can just look at your actions and figure out how you're feeling from there. Like, for example, sometimes when we're really upset with someone we love, we can get scared of expressing that feeling or even admitting it to ourselves. That's called denial. So, if I did have denial, how would I cure it? Well, if I were you, I might try to be my own detective. I'd look deep down inside my heart to find out who I was really mad at. You know he moved to Los Angeles all by himself, established a thriving nightclub, and now he's a consultant for the LA Dad. Oh, don't be so modest, son. Look how well you're handling the sting. Oh my Say God. That. Whoops. And he's human now? Look, look, look. Everything's gonna be okay. Right? Lucifer can flatten bullets. And God, well, he's God. Not anymore. Pack up the product! We're moving base camp now. As I stare down at that weapon, I'm feeling something entirely new. <sighs> Regretful, ridiculous, Fair. ready to go home. Oh, no, my, my, my forehead is wet, but my throat is dry, and the floor is starting to spin. Lucifer, is the floor starting to spin for you? Dad? I said shut up! Yes. I'm starting to feel something as well. Oh, we say as much as he says about his dad, He's gonna do anything for him. Put the human down, Samaya. Oh my god, that looks so freaking good! They were going to kill you. Are you okay? Are they okay? What happened? I just prevented G.I. Jane here from pulling a Nietzsche. Anyway, I'm sure you can take it from here. If you'll excuse us. Dad and I have an errand to attend to. Well, that did surprise me that. The second he got hit then, something triggered in him. Because we are getting your powers back right now. He doesn't like the fact that he's vulnerable. He loves his dad too much. 